Hello students, welcome to our afternoon read aloud. Well, tomorrow is a very special day. It is the Chinese New Year. It's the last winter festival of light and winter festival celebrating the new year. Right here, we have the calendar marker to show a baby, redness and gold and a dragon, all symbols of prosperity and good luck for the new year. So let's take a look at Chinese New Year. I see a bunch of children on the front all dressed in red with lanterns and crowns. Here we go. Chinese New Year by David F. Marks. Open the doors and windows. It's Chinese New Year. China is a large country in Asia. It is on the other side of the world from North America. China has its own special New Year's holiday. Chinese New Year lasts two weeks. It happens in January or February. So here's a calendar showing, uh, this is an old book, almost 20 years old, but it's showing two weeks of the holiday. Families clean their houses before the New Year. They decorate their homes with flowers. It is good luck if a flower blooms in your house on New Year's Day. Wow, and actually, it's not just Chinese New Year, it's the New Year for many cultures and countries in Asia. And I was just at a place in Falls Church called Eden Center where there are many Vietnamese stores and they were selling plants and blooming and things and blooms to be a symbol for blooming in the New Year because the Vietnamese, the people in Malaysia, people all over Asia celebrate New Year just like this. The holiday starts on New Year's Eve. Families come together for a big dinner. Some families set extra places at the dinner table. These places are for missing family members. These people may be away from home or may have died. So you can see like an empty space there saved for someone special. At midnight on New Year's Eve, people open their doors and windows. This lets the old year out and welcomes in the new year. People also set off firecrackers. The firecrackers make a loud bang. And believe it or not, I was just in a store this afternoon <laughs> in Eden Center and firecrackers just went off in the hallway. <laughs> so this is being celebrated right now here in Arlington by our Vietnamese families. On New Year's Day, there are festivals in every Chinese community and other Asian communities. Groups of people dress up in long dragon costumes and dance through the streets. People spend a lot of time visiting friends during Chinese New Year. They bring oranges and tangerines as a gift. And oranges and tangerines can be a symbol for things growing and blossoming even in winter time, right? Because in some places, even during winter, oranges and tangerines are still growing. This tray of dried fruit has been left out for the New Year celebration. Ooh, I see dried pineapple and peaches and apricots and pears and berries. Ooh, looks yummy. Chinese New Year ends with the Lantern Festival. People make the lanterns themselves. Oh, and you can buy lots of lanterns. This is the light part, right? It's dark, it's winter, it's cold, but people still like to make lights. Fireworks light up the sky too. What a beautiful, colorful way to welcome the new year. Oh, here's the picture glossary. Words you know. Door, dragon, festival, firecrackers, fireworks, flowers, lantern, and oranges. And there's the index. 
And in fact, we have Mongolian classmates who will also be enjoying the New Year. So it's called Chinese New Year, but it's really celebrated all across Asia. And it's a time to welcome the New Year. I hope you enjoyed our afternoon read aloud. Don't forget to keep washing your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, do some reading, do some writing, help your family around the house, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.